If we can shift our expectations and if we can match the outcome to the objective, you will stop feeling so frustrated. Doing questions is like experimenting. We kind of, you know, if you visualize a scientist, I don't know, I know nothing about science, but if you visualize a scientist, you know, you can't imagine her sitting at her desk going like, I wonder what would happen if I combine these two chemicals. There's only so much that they can theoretically understand before it's time to go, you know what, let me just combine these two chemicals and see what happens. Oh, that's what happened. I wonder if the same chemical, if we combine it with another chemical, I wonder if the reaction is going to be the same. How are we going to find that out? Gee, I don't know. Oh, I know. Go and do it. Oh, ooh, no, that didn't work out. Something exploded. Let's clean up the mess. Okay. What have we learned from this? It's an experiment. Your questions are experiments. You know what? Like I can see the stuff, but I can't communicate it. I can communicate it, but I'm not seeing stuff. When I look at solutions, why am I not seeing that stuff? Why are they making connections I'm not making? Oh yeah, you know what? To be fair, I don't actually understand what I'm supposed to be doing with this information. Like why does this thing exist? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When we fail questions, it means something to us. It means too much to us. We fail the question and all the future disappointment and all the concerns and all the fears and all the worries and all the stresses of the future and what this means for my future dumps on your shoulder all at once. We fail one question and does this mean I'm going to fail the exam? Does this mean I'm never going to get this right? Does this mean I'm never going to qualify? Does this mean? Does this mean? Does this mean? You know what? It means nothing. It means that we still have some learning to do. Now, if you're only doing the question a week before the exam because you've avoided questions for so long, then yes, you have a problem because it means that you don't really have a lot of time to adjust your learning. But if you start doing questions super early, it means that you have time to go, hmm, what am I learning from this? Hmm, okay, I need to shift something. I need to change something. I need to focus on this more, focus on that less. And let me try again. If you have more time, you can do more learning. Go into questions before you do the question. I need you to sit there, close your eyes and go, what is the reason that I'm doing this question? And you consciously need to say to yourself, what is the reason I'm doing this question? Okay, I am doing this question because I actually don't really know what it is that they kind of want me to be able to do with this topic. So I'm going to do this question as kind of an exploration of the types of things that I need to be able to do. So you know what? I'm not actually going to be able to do very much. (laughs) And I know that. But I just need to come out of that with a better understanding of the types of things I need to be able to do. And then, you know, when I look at the topic again and I like, I I learn the stuff, I'll have a better understanding of what I need to to know, what I need to focus on, what I'm like missing, et cetera, et cetera. And, And I can guide my studying better. That is the purpose that I'm going to do this question. As you're busy with the question, you're going to fall back into the trap of, I don't know where I'm supposed to, I don't know where to start. I've got two sentences done. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never, and so the stress rises again. And so you need to bring the stress back down and go, what is the purpose of me doing this question? The purpose of me doing this question is to get a better understanding of what it is that they want from me. What am I supposed to be doing? So am I able to do this now? No. Should I expect that I'm able to do it now? No. So calm down. Okay. 10 minutes later, you're going to have the same stress again because you cannot help the fact that your brain goes back to, I need to be able to do this. I'm not able to do this. I don't know. It's going so terribly. And I've been sitting here for the last five minutes with nothing to say. And I don't know. My mind's worried. I don't know. What is the purpose of me doing this question? The purpose is to learn. Okay. So if I come out of this, do I have a better, yeah, I have a better understanding and and sure, well, I've got some work to do. Okay, fine. When you mark the question, the stress is going to rise again. What do you sit up? What is the purpose that I did this question with? The purpose was to understand, have a better idea of what it is that I need to be able to work towards. Do I have, yeah, I definitely, there's a lot of gaps here. Great. Now I can move on. Set a timer on your phone for every five minutes. So that you don't get lost in your own head. Because the problem is when you look at me and I say that you're like, yeah, yeah, Yvonne, that makes sense. Okay, I can do that. And then when you hit that point where the stress rises, it's too late. Your eyes are closed, you're freaked out and you're drowning in panic and you can't see me anymore. And you can't see logic anymore and you're lost. It is very difficult to pull yourself back when you get lost. So an external tool, setting an alarm, 
An external tool that reminds you, pull yourself back to the purpose, will help you go, have I gotten lost again? Oh, crap, yes, I got lost. And I, I got lost in the sense of like, I'm failing, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, calm down. What's my purpose? Reframe the purpose. Five minutes later, your alarm's going to go back off again. And you might be like, no, 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 I still, I still have my purpose in mind, top of mind, and I'm still, so I'm fine. Okay, fine. Switch your alarm off, move on. Another five minutes later, you might be lost in the drama again. Great. The, the alarm is going to pull you back out. <sighs> Sit down. Watching this video, you may look and go, yeah, okay, that's an interesting point. Like, yeah, okay, that's great. But that's not going to work for you. You're going to need to continually tell your brain, it's okay, let's come back. Your brain is going to keep running down that road of, but we're supposed to be why? Come back, come back. And you're going to have to tell your brain to come back many times before you both calm down, before your brain actually calms down and goes, yes, I understand. We're on the same page here. Yes, the purpose of doing this question is to learn about what it is we need to know. You cannot do this once and expect that it's going to work. You've got to do this repeatedly. Five minutes. Do a question and every five minutes, check with yourself. If I was there with you and I was watching you do a question, I would tap you on your shoulder and go, remember, the purpose is just to get an understanding of what types of things they want from you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Yvonne. I was, I was starting to feel bad that I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> five minutes later, I would poke you on the back again, but I'm not there to do that. So set an alarm and then you can hear my annoying voice. The purpose on the question is repetition. Your brain shifts and reprograms on repetition. You are not going to consciously do this repetition once you've got yourself lost in that fear, that emotion, that worry, that stress. So set something externally to remind you of doing that. Yes, it's going to interrupt your question and it's going to interrupt your thought process and it's going to be frustrating, but that's why... That's why we have study time, to learn and shift and change tools. Then when you come out of it and you go, well, that didn't go well. Okay, yes, but do you have a better idea of what they want from you? Oh, yes, I do. Great, mission accomplished. Move on.